Typically, people know how Pint looks like today on regular Laravel apps. However, there is so much more you can do with Laravel Pint that most people are not aware about. Let me just show it to you. So the Pint that most of people know is uh, the one that just formats the code, your Laravel code, in the traditional way. So if I go here to this project, I basically install some of these methods and I call pint in the terminal and I do have this output, which tells me that the app service provider got fixed automatically, which is pretty cool. Make sure that my code is consistency. However, something I always do with Laravel pint is create my own configuration file so I can have access to all of the rules of PHP CS fixer gives me, which is the underlying tool of Laravel Pint. So let me show you some of the rules I really like on Laravel Pint that makes my project really cool. So I'm gonna rename this pint.json file so it actually starts being used. And I'm gonna show you this first specific rule, which is declare strict types equals to true. But I'm gonna also show you this rule right here, which is marking all the classes as final. So I'm gonna clear my terminal and run vendor bean pint and just check this out automatically pint just went to all of the files I have and added declare strict types on the top of every single file I have. Isn't this thing like absolutely awesome? On top of that, I have noticed that pint also marked all my classes as final, which is pretty cool for consistency. Now, this looks cool, but let me show you something that even looks better. I'm going to go to the top of this file and I'm going to add a private function, like private function foo, just like that, okay? Now, typically, I like to have my private functions on the bottom of my classes and the public functions on top. So if I run pint right now, you get to see that pint moved the public functions to the top and the private functions to the bottom. Gets even better if I try to do uh, regular comparisons. Now, most people don't know about this, but actually PHP is quite weak making comparisons. So here, for example, if I compare one with this string, P PHP will actually think that uh, this comparison is true. Now, to avoid this, you might want to use strict equals, which you can do with triple equal just like that. Now, if I do that, uh, obviously this will return uh, false, which is, in my opinion, the correct result of this operation. Now, how can you ensure that you always use strict comparisons? Well, you basically just go to your console, run pint with this specific preset, and as you can see, just adds automatically, automatically strict types into this comparison. And this is done thanks to this strict comparison rule. So as you can see, I have multiple rules here which you can use and abuse in your own pint.json file, which is one of the things I recommend a lot.